Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970 Thank you again for checking out uh, part two of this video. And I want you guys to really listen to this carefully, because I've said in so many videos before how there are lots of messages throughout all the information you can get through music and movies and things like this. And I showed this video the other day, part of it. I want you to hear this next part, because I want it to sink in that... If you understand the symbolism, you can realize your true potential and the true potential of everyone. But again, uh, this will fall under the Fair Usage Act because, again, I'm not showing the whole movie. I'm just showing a small segment of the movie for um, educational purposes only. But listen to what this has to say. And picture the ants as us, the people, and the grasshoppers as the ruling class, the quote-unquote ruling class. You piece of dirt. No, I'm wrong. You're lower than dirt. You're an ant. Let this be a lesson to all you ants. Ideas are very dangerous things. You are mindless, soil-shoving losers. Put on this earth to serve us. You're wrong, Hopper. are not meant to serve grasshoppers. I've seen these ants do great things. And year after year, they somehow manage to pick food for themselves and you. So, so who is the weaker species? Ants don't serve grasshoppers. It's you who need us. We're a lot stronger than you say we are. And you know it, don't you? <coughs> All right, we're just going to leave it right there, because, again, for under fair usage, I only want to show just a small segment. But basically, as you, if you've ever seen this movie... Uh, they're basically, they show at the end, the ants realize, well, to get the whole premise if you've never seen this movie, basically the movie starts out that grasshoppers are basically about five times as big as an ant. They're a lot stronger, they could fly, and they use their size as intimidation to get the ants to gather food for them so they don't have to. And they scare the ants into thinking that if they don't, the grasshoppers will basically defeat them and punish them. So, for as long as they can remember, they serve the grasshoppers because of the fear of what could happen. By the end of the movie, as you can see, they realize that even though the ants are smaller and they are not as intimidating as the grasshoppers, they outnumber them 100 to 1. So, the way that the grasshoppers can control the quote-unquote ants is by using fear to divide the people. So maybe one or two might stand up. Grasshoppers can easily stamp out one or two people, or quote-unquote ants, trying to interfere with their plan. But at the end of this movie, you'll see, if you watch it, that all the ants finally unite as one, and the grasshoppers, even though they're larger and more frightening, they can't do anything, and they ultimately lose. So... The whole purpose of these kind of videos is to show people that there's a reason why we're scared all the time. Why the news is always telling us that there is some evil monster ready to get us. How there is some disease ready to kill us. How there's always some kind of tragedy befalling us. And if they can't scare you, they'll entertain you. That's why you'll have all the celebrity gossip, you'll have all the sports athletes, all the movie stars, all the controversies. And if they can't get you there, they'll pay you off by making sure that your bank account is filled with all of their fiat currency that they create out of thin air, giving the illusion of the ability to make purchases with something that's valuable, that they create, which they profit off of our, our labor. And once we realize that if we all stood together and said no more, we could put an end to this. And that is what the quote-unquote powers that be will always be afraid of. It's like I said in the first video, they say that if we ever found out our true potential, 
there goes their way of life. So they make it seem like we need them. That's why they provide things like Social Security. That's why they quote-unquote try and protect us. They make you feel like you cannot do things on your own and you need to be taken care of. But with that, that means they could do whatever they want with you. And they'll scare you, they'll distract you, they'll entertain you, and they'll even bribe you. But ultimately they know that that's their only game and will only last as long as we accept it. So these kind of videos are to show people your true potential. Because one little twig you can easily snap. Put two, three hundred of them together, good luck trying to break it. So... Like I said in the last video, united we stand, divided we fall. That depends on the people. If the people want to live this life of illusion where, yes, you might get a little fee on currency, yes, you might not be beaten up or have something happen, it's because we're not standing up. And if we're going to be distracted, yes, you might survive a little bit. You might even thrive a little bit. But it's at the expense of your fellow human beings. And if you think about it, is that something we want as a legacy? To allow other people in this world, just because we might not be able to see them or they might not be next door, allow them to suffer so a few of us can get by? That's not really why we were put on this earth. And if you, even if you're a religious person, where's your? we need the faith and we need the trust and the ability to know that we're here to help each other, not to be a bunch of individuals just ignoring the suffering. Until we can unite and figure out the common good for the human species, we will always be divided, we will always be controlled. And it's by the few who are so afraid that we will learn that true potential. And I hope this helps. And if it does, share it. Thanks for watching, guys.